Hello kids. Welcome back to Doc June channel. Blowing bubbles is a fun activity. Understanding why bubbles form and why they are round takes science. First let's think about why bubbles form. The bubble solution sold at the toy stores and supermarkets is just a solution of soap and water. The solution is mostly water. But the soap is definitely required. You can't blow a bubble using water. So the soap must be providing something important. To understand why large round bubbles form in a soap and water solution but not in pure water. We must think about what is happening at the molecular level. Water molecules are attracted to each other very strongly because water has high surface tension. Which means that they will not stretch apart to form large bubbles. So close the surface tension of water allowing the molecules to separate from one another. How does soap lower the surface tension of water? Soap molecules are long chains of atoms. One end of the chain is able to slip between the water molecules scientists say that part of the soap molecule is hydrophilic. While the other end tends to stay outside of the water molecules that part is hydrophobic. Because part of the soap molecule is able to push water molecules apart. So close the surface tension of water and allows bubbles to form. Some bubble recipes contain more than just soap and water. Glycerin and corn syrup are frequently recommended. Why? Well bubbles pop as the water in the film evaporates. Both glycerin and corn syrup can help prevent the evaporation. I hope this simple explanation clears the doubts in your mind about bubbles. I would love to hear from you. What experiences did you have playing with bubbles? Please comment them down below. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do subscribe for more videos. Thank you and God bless.